Could this be the way we make smart homes for everyone? I think it could, and the truth is, I've made a living here on YouTube because smart homes are still too hard. Everyone's interested in tech that makes their lives easier and more convenient, but people stop trying with smart tech because it's too technical or it's just too time consuming to maintain. There's also a huge barrier of knowledge and most people don't feel capable of any of this. And my crazy idea starts with this, the humble USB key. Let's give her. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and I'm here to save you time and money on your journey to live smarter. But for me to talk about why this little thing we've had for years could make a smart home accessible to anyone, I have to start with what the problems are. To buy smart tech is a minefield of uncertainty, research, and usually disappointment. As you narrow down on a purchase, you'll start asking yourself tons of questions. Like, does it have its own app? Probably. Does it need a hub? Wait, <laughs> what's a hub? Does it use Wi-Fi? What's a Zigbee? Why Bluetooth? Can I use it with Apple HomeKit? Will Samsung or Amazon or Google take all my info? And will I get all the features in the app where I want them? Even just the research behind the wireless technology on your potential new product can lead you down a rabbit hole. I still get asked by newbies, if it's Zigbee, do I need a hub? It's just confusing and scary. And now we have Matter. Now Matter's the latest smart home standard and honestly there's been good progress in terms of ease of use, ease of setup and eliminating some of these problems. But I still have multiple apps I end up using. First, the manufacturer's app and then Apple, Amazon or someone else who has a Matter ready app. I get better features in the manufacturer's app than I get in the Matter app, so I do end up with both. And I still have to learn about things like Thread. Thread is one of those wireless technologies and I might not have a Thread border router in my home, which you need. In fact, this is such a problem that in recent reports, companies like Nanoleaf, Netatmo, and Belkin are already turning away from Thread and in some cases matter, and that this lack of understanding in the public is a big reason why. The thing is, we need to use Thread. It's the right wireless technology to use for almost all our smart tech. We really only need Wi-Fi for things like cameras, speakers, and TVs, entertainment stuff. Thread is magic. We need to use it. Wi-Fi can't do everything, but the capacity of general people or the general public to learn about it and manage a thread network is very low. There are many reasons why thread or, you know, even something like Zigbee is going to be much better than Wi-Fi for 99% of the smart tech in our lives. But today, most companies are using Wi-Fi to build smart tech. So here's my idea. Let's pretend this isn't just a plain old USB key. Let's pretend it contains all the network information for your thread network and your Wi-Fi network and the apps you have in your home that you want to use and the apps in your home that your spouse wants to use. And then we pack anything else that we need to transfer to smart products when they enter our home. I'd call this the matter key or the smart key or the automate your life key. And all those names are now trademarked in the CSA, those folks who own the matter standard, they can come and buy that off of me. <laughs> the initial setup of this little key would be as simple as a smart speaker is today. You answer questions about the apps you have in your home, you bring it close to your phones, your tablets, and any smart speakers during this process. The setup of this would actually be something very easily done by people who want to create businesses in installing smart tech. And the general public proved they could do smart speaker style setups many years ago. Any electronic that was called smart tech or matter ready would have to have a plugin to receive the information that is stored on this USB key. We could use technology like NFC to transfer the information, but the entire setup process for your new product 
would be to plug this in and wait for a little green light that says all is well. That transfer of information would be all of your apps and all that information you packed into this key. And as the device is setting up, it would be dropping itself into the rooms in those apps based on location capabilities available with Bluetooth today. And I think the whole thing could cost 20 bucks. The only requirement would be that you have a Matter controller in your home. Those could obviously be bundled with Matter controllers as packages that say everything you need to start a smart home. Now there's one technical aspect of this and it really changes how we do smart homes and how we do the app. As I said earlier, you end up needing multiple apps because a manufacturer's app has more settings or more options in it than the Matter Ready app. This is mostly because we have to design a UI or user interface for things like settings, but with one simple shift in how we do electronics, or at least smart electronics, I think a lot of this could be handled. So new electronics have to produce something called a register set and companies could pick from a standard chipset that lets them read or write 20, 40 or 60 things. This is what we do in industrial automation. And I've never understood why this hasn't made it over to commercial and residential stuff. Basically you have a stack of registers and you say which ones can be written to and which ones can be read from. So I'm gonna use that fan example. Now your smart apps could write to the power register to turn it on or off. Your app could write to the fan speed and the oscillation settings. And if it had a sleep mode setting, you'd have a register for that too. With a fan like this, you're likely to have a temperature sensor, but that would be something your apps could just read from. However, if the company ever wanted to add a Fahrenheit or Celsius setting that people could switch between, that would be something they could add as a register that you can write to. Those kinds of registers can be stated as a setting and that would go into the settings page for your matter ready device. All of the different user interfaces that we're producing for all these different device types is causing the app makers to be in what I would call paralysis. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about any of this. They have so much to produce that's custom. So nowadays, Matter only gives us access to turn on and off things like fans and maybe change the fan speed, but we can't deal with the oscillation or the temperature sensor or the other aspects of the device that these makers would like to provide us. So that's why we end up with these other apps. And to be honest, most companies are pretty terrible at maintaining their own apps and their own firmware and solving their own connectivity issues. And in some cases, their own product issues. And this kind of a scenario takes a lot of the connectivity out of their hands. If there's a problem with those modules, that has to be a larger firmware update that goes out. If there's a problem with their registers, they wanna add a feature, that's where they can send out a firmware update. And I think those would be so small that they could negotiate a little agreement with the apples of the world to send that out. But for the most part, communication and all the connectivity stuff is taken out of the hands of these makers. They haven't been really great at making decisions. Some have, don't get me wrong, but they will all make good decisions internally with their electronics. Now I don't want to get too far out there, but this kind of a scenario eliminates all kinds of apps instantly. It eliminates a lot of the setup work that you do with your smart home products. It eliminates people having to understand thread. It eliminates having to manage a lot of that. And the new Matter 1.4 and Thread 1.4 standards also do that for us. So the bones are here for something like this to work. The other cool thing is what would happen to marketing pages for our smart tech. All the stuff about wireless technology, it disappears. It works with the Automate Your Life key. You plug it in and it works. It would also be a differentiating feature on marketing pages. We could see very clearly you have these 20 things you can control with our fan. And then it would be really easy to compare to another maker to get the features you want for the price you want. It would also be very easy for the industry to create a one page or a two page explainer guide about how this little key works. Here's what you need. Here's the symbol you need to look for. And then you get a single 
link that says, go here, buy our $20 USB key, go here to get help setting it up. So I'd love to hear what you guys think about an idea like this or what your idea is to fix smart tech. And if you're not interested in commenting on that, please let me know what you think about videos like this on our channel. I've been holding back on this type of video because I wasn't sure how it would be received by you guys. There are some really interesting trends and technologies that are coming out in 2025. I put that all up in the video that's on screen there. So check that out because there's some really wild things coming this year. Otherwise, Thanks for watching today, and of course, live smart.